And we head now to Tokyo, where Anne Frank's The Diary of a Young Girl and many books about the young Holocaust victim have been vandalized in public libraries since earlier this year. Here's more. A total of 265 books in 31 libraries have been found damaged since the first vandalized book was found in January, prompting a wider search. The damage has come mostly in the form of dozens of ripped pages. However, government officials are short on details. Well, we shouldn't speculate about the background of the incident. The libraries have reported the cases to the police and the police are currently conducting the investigation. Supposing the incidents are proven to be fact, Japan will not tolerate this and we find it extremely regretful and shameful. I understand that the police will conduct thorough investigation on the cases. Shinjuku City's Chuo Library has found 39 copies of vandalized books, all relating to Anne Frank. Libraries have the role of ensuring freedom of expression, as well as ensuring the rights of residents and library users to knowledge. These books are a common asset. They are intellectual property that belong to residents and library users. So to inflict damage on that, I think it's unforgivable. During World War II, Anne Frank wrote her diary over the two years she and her family hid in a concealed apartment in Nazi-occupied Netherlands. After her family was betrayed and deported, Frank died in a German concentration camp at the age of 15 in 1945. Her father survived and published her diary, which became a widely read document to emerge from the Holocaust. The library plans to check for other Holocaust-related books to check for damage. Meanwhile, books relating to Anne Frank that were left undamaged have since been moved behind library counters. Stephen Roach, CCTV.